Greetings, everybody. Turn your King James Bible to Isaiah chapter 51. This is the continuation of the Isaiah series. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Isaiah 51 and verse 1. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. So what is this rock? Well, let's take a look at Luke chapter 6, verse 46, Jesus speaking. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Good question. Whosoever cometh to me, and heareth my sayings, and doeth them, and there's a whole bunch of people that'll tell you that if you do the things that the Lord says, that you're trying to earn your salvation, they, they even call it, uh, have a name for it. They call it Lordship Salvation. Yep, if you do the things that Jesus tells you to do, that you're earning your salvation, and they call that a heresy. Well, guess what? There's a guy that uh, didn't do what the Lord wanted him to do, and you know what his name is? Satan. So maybe those people that complain about lordship salvation, maybe they have the same father. And I'm not talking about the father in heaven either. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. Hmm. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the steam beat vehemently against that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not... So when you hear the things that the Lord says to do and you don't do them, but he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently and immediately it fell. And the ruin of that house was great. Yeah, they must have the same father, the devil. I, you know, people that tell you not to do what Christ says to do. So, What's this rock? 1 Corinthians 10, verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Well, Paul's speaking to the Corinthian church here. They're a bunch of Greeks. They were with Moses? They were baptized in the Red Sea with Moses? Boy, I'll tell you what. You uh, point that out in a Baptist church, and they'll, uh, in a Bible study with a bunch of people, and they'll uh, call you a heretic and, and kick you out, because everybody knows the... the um, well, the word starts with a J, and it rhymes with news. Uh, they know they're the chosen people. You know, the ones that reject Christ. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the ones that reject Christ, that deny him, by Bible definition, are antichrist. They want you to think that those are the chosen people. I don't think so. I think Christians are the chosen people. I mean, and, and they call that a heresy. So, if you believe the Antichrist are God's chosen people, and you think Christians are not, uh, they call that sound doctrine. 
I call that stupidity, but, you know, what do I know? Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did and did all eat the same spiritual meat, manna, and did all and did and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. Now, when you go to the book of Numbers, you'll, you'll see that uh, Moses was told to uh, get water from the rock. They were carrying a rock around. And he did, and the water gushed out. And everybody in the desert got to drink water. So, let's go back to Isaiah. 51 verse 2 Look unto Abraham your father and unto Sarah that bare you for I called him alone Did God call the whole world? That's not what this says For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him For the Lord shall comfort Zion he will comfort all her waste places and he will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord jo joy and gladness shall be found therein thanksgiving and the voice of melody hearken unto me my people and give ear unto me O my nation for a law shall proceed from me and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people my righteousness is near my salvation is gone forth and mine arms shall judge the people the isles shall wait upon me and on mine arm shall they trust lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Does that have a New Testament witness? Absolutely. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So verse 6, you know, it says, lift up your eyes. Uh, Isaiah 51 and verse 6. Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke and the earth shall wax old like a garment. And they that dwell therein shall die in like manner, but my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revilings. Verse 8. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, 
and the worm shall eat them like wool, but my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord, awake, as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Art thou not it that hath cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Art thou not it which hath dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that hath made the depths of the sea a way for the ransomed to pass over? Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. New Testament witness, Revelation 21, verse 4, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Isaiah 51, verse 12. I, even I, am he that comforteth you. Who art thou, that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass? And forgettest the Lord thy maker, that has stretched forth the heavens, and laid the foundations of the earth, and has feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor, as if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? The captive exile hastened, hasteneth, that he may be loosed, and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. But I am the Lord thy God that divideth the sea, whose waves roared. The Lord of hosts is his name. And I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of mine hand, that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth, and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which hath drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his fury. Thou hast drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling, and wrung them out. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she hath brought forth. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she hath brought up. These two things are come unto thee. Who shall be sorry for thee? Desolation and destruction and the famine and the sword. By whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith thy Lord the God, I'm sorry, thus saith thy, thy Lord, the Lord, and thy God, that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down that we may go over, and thou hast laid thy body as the ground, and as the street to them that went over. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and the only, His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to 
In Jesus' name, amen.